Go six? <clears throat> or where am I starting at? This is a 55 minute video, holy shit. <clears throat> this is a team I play with almost exclusively? Nice. Just start? Oh, okay. About to start, sounds good. Let's, let's get right. it. Ready? Bring this down a little bit. I was bored. Here with the squad. It's going to be interesting too because I can go back and see you know what you guys are uh, saying. So let's see. Carl's Barkley. I love when people do that. Alan Driverson. <laughs> That's fucking amazing. Okay, so right there, good, that's fine. I would say that you don't really need to rotate back in here if you see your teammate. So either your teammate should come out of the net here and follow up this touch here, or you should rotate in behind him. Because stacking two guys in the net, okay, it comes out there, that's good. Oh, almost. Fucking... Damn it. Man, you turn off ball cam so much earlier than I'm used to. That's crazy. So, let's see. So you guys, if you look right here, and you can pass this along to your team as well. If you look right here, all of you guys are on the left side of the field. We should probably talk more, but it's kind of just known what we did. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. I'm not going to judge the comms or anything. You guys have your own chemistry. But you can see you guys are all, and you're all at some point, like right now, even all inside this line. You're all inside this post. So what happens is if the ball sprays out over here, one of you, likely you, has to waste a lot of boost. So if this guy's going into challenge, which he is, you should probably try and cover mid a bit. Because you've got this guy who should be maybe a little farther back. What you want to do is you want to seal here and seal around here. I played 500 hours with a ball cam. What? Did you ever hit the ball? That's fucked up. Um, but yeah, so you want to generally, you have one guy in and then you have one guy hovering around like this blue area right here. So if the ball sprays out in here, he's in position for a shot. If the ball sprays out over here, you guys are here. But you're not far enough up where one ball takes you out of the play if you get like a bad 50. And we'll see like right here. You had to back off that. If you had been in the middle, you would have been able to at least contest this ball earlier. I mean, you win the 50-50 so it works out, but nice pass. Boom. No. I don't know how didn't go Rip. I, I thought, I was with you could you could go off the wall there and try and hit that. Oh, That's just more way. mechanics though. I'm not really talking about mechanics here so much, just so much as like game sense, I think. Because like obviously, like when you look at this, when you watch it back, we'll watch it back from farther because it takes forever to load for whatever reason. So this is a really good pass. Your buddy almost hits that shot, so that's a good play right there. What? So you got two guys, you're in a good spot here. You hit this off the wall, jump for that. Go get it. This is good. Oh, it gets fucked up. So right now, you guys both rotated back for the same boost, which is kind of an issue. Um, when you see your teammate back here like this, generally I just kind of assume... So right here, you touch it, that's fine. You guys, I'm assuming you guys knew that was going to happen. You see your boy right here. You're both going back to the same boost. Try and pick up pads, maybe. Picking up pads is really underrated, because if you pick up three pads, that's 36 boosts. That's a lot of boost. Nice shot by Carls. I used to I used to play with against guys that was Kareem abdul car and Tragic Johnson, which always made me laugh, but... All right, so good, good play so far. Okay, it's fine. Cheating up there is good, but I would say if you're gonna cheat, cheat hardcore. Like go, go all the way in there. This is fine. You're kind of in an unfortunate spot. In spots like that, um, these are really uncomfortable spots, and they take a, a while to learn like what to do. So a spot like this, just move. You got your guy here. Turn, drive into the net. Be ready for like a, a redirect shot off the wall or something. Because if you're just sitting here, I mean, it's not really doing much. Like where that guy bumped you is almost where you want to be. You want to be like on your goal line there, I think. Because your buddy's on the wall. So he has the best chance at it anyway. So if he's going to miss that, there's not really going to be much you can do um, to go for that ball. 
Alan Driverson used to be Kareem. That's hilarious. So yeah, right here. Yeah, you want to be in your net on your goal line there, I think. Because you got your homie up on the wall there. This is a good challenge. You needed to make that challenge, so that's a good one. You just needed to get up in his face. Much like basketball when they just put their hand up to try and block vision. You're not trying to stuff the ball. You're just trying to get in the way. Oh, a little blooper from Carl's. Party time. Nice. So far, so good. Probably want to be backflipping into that boost. Do I, you know what? That's actually a really good area to practice half flips. Because you have, there's no pressure. It's not really any pressure. So practice doing half flips into the, uh, into the boost. Disclaimer, uh-oh. You're going to tell me these guys are both grand champs. Kareem does a double jump aerial? That's fine. Who's Kareem? Is that... Uh, you tried to half flip? Okay. I see. Oh, I see. Gotcha. Okay. I feel like that touch could have been different. So let's see. No, I would have smashed this too. Never mind. So far, so good. Going all the way back to your net there. It's a bit of a waste, but you got two guys in front of you, so it's not the worst thing in the world. Okay, liking it. Oh, yeah. Recognizing air dribbles is something that takes a while. Oh, boy. Oh, go oh, God. <laughs> all right, let's see. So right here, you know he's going to get under that one again. So... Sort of, this kind of goes back to what I was saying, I think it was yesterday when I was playing ones. You either want to, when somebody's air dribbling, in my opinion, this is the easiest way to defend it, you either want to hit them right away before they have a chance to regain their, like, they hit it off the wall, you want to get up in their face right away before they have a chance to adjust their car and get comfortable like this guy does. If you don't get up in that timing window, you want to wait until they can't change the direction anymore. You can see this guy's about to get under the ball again. Right here. He's there, like he's already there. So you know he's going to be able to redirect it as much as he wants. So what you want to do is drive back to your net, wait till it gets closer to the ground, wait until he basically can't uh, outdo gravity anymore, and uh, then then hit the ball. And it wasn't even on net, so it wasn't too scary. Right there, teammate bloopers. That's okay, though. But yeah, that air, air dribbling is, is something that's really... you got to. If there's one thing that people struggle with a lot is wrapping their head around air dribbling. People are very scared to go for the ball. If you go right away, you're good. If you wait until the very end, you'll probably be fine too. If you wait until their last touch. That's okay. Cheat didn't work. Holy shit. This is so disorienting. <laughs> nice. Okay. Grab a pad. Should get back. Should get up on the wall there and try and clear that. Because your teammate was stuck in the position you were earlier, where you sort of were just backing up and forth. Um, but so right here, this is fine. You know, happens. But right here, you grab a pad, that goes up, rush that shit, get on the wall. Because you can get to that with 36 boosts, you'd be fine. You can get to that ball, you jump off, you hit it. That's you going to be making that play. D3 is so few good air dribblers that I have a bad habit of making them prove it. And if they do, I get scored on. Yeah, that's the classic, right? Or you're like, this guy's not getting... Oh, you got it. Oops. Oh, boy. Okay. You don't want to back up here. Just power slide turn around. I, I imagine that's kind of a half flip. But either way, until you're super comfortable with half flips, just use the old power slide turn. Okay. Destroyed that guy. His axles are somewhere at midfield now. Almost. Maybe go for a flick there next time, but that's just dribbling. Yep. Oh, whiff. That's okay. Again, I'm not going to be calling you up for whiffs because you know what you did wrong there. That's You don't need my help for that one. Interesting touch from that guy. Oh, get fucked. Oh, yeah. Unfortunate. I was going to say go up for it, but that guy got a touch on it. So, rip. Right there, you don't really need to seal that wall. Just, I would, I would uh, play a little bit more patient and maybe wait for his touch. So, we're going to watch the sequence again. All right here. Driverson comes in and fucking destroys that guy. But there, yep, unfortunate. But so, <clears throat> right here, just back up a bit. Wait for his touch. You're not really going to get a good 50 out of that. 
This is fine. Rotating back for boost. That makes sense. Your homies are there. Good job. Just wait for the touch. Good touch down. Uh, interesting touch back. Probably should call that out in comms, just as a heads up, if you're going to slam it off the wall like that. Yep. Yep, pick up pads, pick up pads, go for boost, that's fine, makes sense. Yep, good up, nice and early. Let your teammates know you're going without having to say anything, and it dissuades your opponents from going for it. Good, good to tackle attempt. So, even though you didn't hit that challenge, it doesn't matter. This is exactly what you should be doing in this situation. I'm going to point this out because a lot of people don't, don't uh, do this. So right here, you fucking... If you're ever first man up in twos or threes, hit this guy. Challenge the ball. Because what does it do? Forces him to make a bad hit. He can't recover from this. So if your teammates... if uh, Unlucky bumped there. But if your teammates hadn't uh, gotten bumped there, they would have had to play on the ball. Nice. Oh, just overdrove that a little bit. But it worked out. It was a fake. Clearly key. But yes, if you're first up, challenge everything. Even if you don't have boost. I mean, obviously within reason. Use your discretion there, but... For the most part, you want to be making that guy make that move so that your teammate can come in and swoop in on the top. Got it. Nice. Good call. Get boost. I like it. Good position. Your teammate's middle, so that's good. Yeah, it's kind of hard to say what to do here. Generally, I like to be a little bit more aggressive and get out of the net because by that time, my teammates will come back. Really nice avoidance of that guy. Good, smart play to chip it up around him. Oh, your, your uh, second man got demoed. That one just needed to be... If you had been able to touch that into their zone, it would have been good. Teammate should have looked for a pass there. Nice. This is your time to shine. Bang! Oh, just wide. That's that's the shot you should take, though. Far side. Absolutely. Nice. Good dunk. Again, you're first in. You just want to make him make that move. Okay. Nice. Good, good sweep back across to cover that. Oh boy. Oh boy, yeah. You just want to clear out there and let somebody with a better angle take it, which is smart. That's what you did. Fly. Fly, my son. Nice shot. Not quite in, but that's the play you should be making. So overall, pretty good, man. Like, I think the, the biggest things are um, just general positioning. Um, trying to make sure that you're always in an, a value-added spot. So not hovering your, on your teammates too close. Um... Being in your net if you can't make a play on the ball. If you're in the corner and it goes up on the wall, you, you get your ass up there, that kind of thing. Uh, but so it's pretty good to me. And then, of course, just general mechanics that, you know, need a little... Got me all warm inside. Hey. But yeah, it's just, uh, just, there's just mechanics. Shooting, uh, ball striking, that kind of thing. Experiment with dribbles some more. Do some off-the-wall shit. Give that a whirl. But it's pretty good, man. Thanks for the video. Appreciate